very close. How else can you describe a 6-0 loss to Cedar Park Vista Ridge Friday night by the Marble Falls High School football team? So close. A touchdown called back because of a penalty. Missed field goal. The defense playing out of its mind, actually getting two turnovers, and yet the offense struggled to get going. Of course, we did get a chance to talk to head football coach Cord Warner after the game. Here's what he had to say. We had to make uh, several personnel adjustments, and we had to make uh, set up several packages uh, for the ball game tonight. You know, our kids, <laughs> they battled hard. We got in the end zone with an extra point. Would have been enough to win the ball game, and we got a call back. Uh, once again, uh, you know, uh, penalties uh, hurt us, and we didn't get in the end zone enough, and that's my fault. Another Marble Falls team was in Cedar Park Vista Ridge searching for a win, and that would be the Lady Mustang volleyball team. Unfortunately, the Lady Mustangs fell in three straight sets. Now, we did get a chance to catch up with Julie Downs, who said that her team played very good defense and actually executed very well, but the Lady Rangers have such a deep tradition in volleyball that they were able to dig just about everything Marble Falls hit. And of course, they actually went out and out hit Marble Falls in many different ways. Now, Marble Falls will be back in action in District 25-4A, traveling to face Powerhouse Dripping Springs. That will be at Dripping Springs, 6.30 on Tuesday. That's it for sports. I'm Jennifer Fierro. Connie, back to you.